Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be my lip product declutter. your first time watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also following my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV so you guys, let's just jump in. This video is gonna be long enough. Um, you know, these are all of my lipsticks right here. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Okay, fine. I'm totally lying. These are not all of my lipsticks. <laughs> these are actually just the smallest. Um, the smallest compartments of lip products. I thought I would pull them out first and we would get started on those. But before we get started, can you guys guess how many lip products I have? We're not talking lip liners, only lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So guess down below before we even get started how many lipsticks I have. <laughs> Drum roll, please. I have 199 lipsticks, lip glosses, and liquid lipsticks. I feel like it was like close to 200 the last time I did a lip declutter, but I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, either way, that's a lot, and we need to pare this down by a lot. So, that is our goal today, and we're going to work on it. I don't know how successful we're gonna be, not gonna promise you anything, but let's get started. So I'm just gonna pull these two out first. I think I got these in either a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy bag. These are the Galactic 3-in-1 Lip Sparkle Balms. And y'all, I have not touched these, um, just have not touched these. So I'm gonna go ahead and let both of those go. There's no need to continue to hold on to them. Also, let me tell you guys, any unopened lip products, I will be adding to my Poshmark. My Poshmark is linked down below in the description box. There's a lot of makeup in there, and um, there's going to be other things added to the Poshmark really, really soon. So just make sure you're following me on Poshmark, and if you want anything, jump on it quickly. Next, let's go into the sparkles. This is another category that I really don't touch very often. I would hate to get rid of all of them just because you never know. I feel like when you're going to need a good sparkle, I, but I haven't needed them yet. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of this like Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This one's in the shade Blizzard. I don't feel like I'm ever going to use that like ever. So I'm going to let that one go. And then I think... I'm just gonna keep the other four I, I am I'm just gonna keep the other four um, actually I'll let this other one go too. this one's called my tie I have never opened these never touched these so I'm gonna let those two go and then I'll keep these three just in case I'm ever feeling festive let's move into the purples I love me a good purple lip y'all so this one is the Tarte lip paint this one's in the shade hangry this one is really really pretty so I'm going to keep that um, I'm also going to ooh, the Sephora lip stories this one's in the shade what shade is this wanderlust I do really like this one I think I've only used it like once. Oh, this one I've never used, but I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna go ahead and use it throughout the winter. This one's MAC in the shade Rebel. This lipstick is super, super old. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. I'm gonna let that one go. I am gonna keep though this Fenty Beauty. This is the Stunna Lip Paint in Undefeated. This is such a beautiful color, so I am gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink because I love the formula of these and they're just awesome, so I really love this one. Um, what else are we keeping here? I think I'm gonna let go of this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's in the shade Madison. It's just too light purple for me and it's not a shade that I would normally wear, so I'm gonna let it go. Look at that, that's three Anastasias right there, y'all. Um, Colored Rain, this is a pretty color. It's in the shade Swerve. It's a really nice deep purple and I don't have like a true, true deep purple like this. Like, you see the difference in the two colors? This is the only one that I have like that, so I'm keeping that. 
and this Kat Von D liquid lipstick it's pretty but I just never reach for it it's in the shade what is this Suspiria and I'm gonna let it go next we'll pull up these oranges and orangey pinks I guess um, and then some other random colors that are in here definitely keeping my Fenty Beauty this is the Stunna Lip Paint and Unlocked y'all know I love Fenty I love the formula so we're gonna keep that um, I have three orange lipsticks now I don't wear orange very often but I feel like it's something that you just need to keep in your arsenal just in case you ever feel like pulling it out or wanting to do a makeup look with it and to be quite honest I love all three of these oranges but um, I'm gonna oh gosh that's really pretty I'm gonna just keep all three for now I want to keep all three what is this this is Mac and candy yum yum you guys I will never use this hot pink again probably so I'm gonna let candy yum yum go um, this is a new wet n wild lipstick that I've never even used. It's called a lip powder snow melt in the shade blizzard berry I'm if it's been closed all this time and the seal has still been on it I'm not even gonna break the seal. I'm gonna leave it closed and and give it away I'm also gonna let go of this trace stick. This is a matte lip color shiny balm lip crown is what it's called And I just I never use these I get these in boxy charms and ipsy bags and never use them So I'm gonna let it go and This is a super hot pink. I think I'm gonna let this go too. This is the NYX line and load um, Lip product in girl, please all right, so we're, we're moving along here a little bit. Um, we have these like grays and grayish colors. I actually really love these colors. Um, one that I'm definitely keeping is from the Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink Line. Again, just love, love, love this line. Um, here's one by Anastasia. It's a regular lipstick. Looks like I've only used it once, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, there's two little Kat Von D liquid lipsticks in here. They're two little grays. I've had them for a while and I really haven't touched them. So I'm going to let them go. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sepia. I love this shade. We'll never part with this shade right here. I have a Wet n Wild lipstick. This one is in the shade Onyx. So it's just a straight black lipstick. This is my only black. So I'm going to keep that. Um, what is this? This is a Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick. Oh, this isn't that pretty blue. Look how pretty this blue is, y'all. I'm just going to keep it just because I don't have any other blues. Colored Rain. This one's in the shade Soul. Oh, it's like a brownie shade. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Let's keep that. I got to remember what's in there, though, because there's no color on the outside. Um, and then I have the NYX Liquid Lingerie. This one's in the shade Confident. Um, I feel like this one's really close to Sepia. Yeah, those are really, really close. So I'm going to keep uh, Sepia and I'm going to get rid of the NYX. All right, y'all. So this is where it starts to get hard. I feel like this is where we start to get into all of the craziness. Like I have 13 red lippies here. I just have it kind of written down on a piece of paper. I have 17 of these like mauvey pinky nudes kind of I have five browns and then I have nine of these Pat McGrath lippies here so this is where we start to get a little crazy so let's just let's just go so let's start with the hard stuff we can start with the reds let's do it I can do this right even though I don't want to part with any of these um crap y'all I don't want to part with any of these <sighs> Okay, one that I don't use very often is this, oh, it's so pretty though. This is the NARS in Star Woman. Like, why don't I use this? And I love this formula. All right, I'm keeping it. I do also want to keep a, a drugstore red. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Red in How Fleek Is Your Love. So I'm keeping that. Um, I have this, oh, the Smashbox lipstick is so pretty. You know what, though? I don't really like lipstick, um, regular lipstick reds. I like more so liquid lipstick reds because I feel like they stay better. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, what is this? This is Mac and Chili. I actually love this shade because it's not a traditional red. It's more of a like 
I don't know, it's like a deeper red. So I'm gonna keep that one, despite what I just said about regular lipsticks. Um, I have this Mac and Patrick Star is really nice. This Tarte one is really nice. I have this from Uoma Beauty and Diana. I have not used it all, but it's not like a traditional red though. I've only used it like twice. Yeah, it is. It's pretty though. Okay, I'm keeping that. I knew this red was gonna be bad. Definitely keeping this one in Too Faced. I'm keeping the Fenty. I'm keeping the Maybelline. I'm keeping the YSL. Um, I can get rid of the Ofra and I can get rid of the Stila. So I'm gonna let those two go. All right, we gotta do better because that clearly didn't go very well. And here's another one that's not gonna go well either. These are all of my Pat McGrath little mini lippies that I picked up when they have those like three pack set. Oh, oh, okay, all right, well. There's one that I can get rid of. I wasn't gonna get rid of any, but that takes care of that, right? And that's a pretty red. I guess I don't need it. Okay, I'll let it go. Well, wasn't that unexpected? Um, let's check the rest of them then. Make sure ain't none of them, the rest of them coming out because I wanted to keep them all and I would just keep them separately from my other, my other lipsticks, so. That's the plan, as long as none of the others are falling out like that. That's a pretty pink. Oh, that's like a clear gloss. Like, I'll never use that clear gloss, so I'm gonna let that one go. Let's go into the browns. Your girl loves a good brown, you guys know. Um, this minted one is brand new. I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna do like a minted tutorial on my Instagram, so you guys are gonna see this really soon. Um, this Maybelline Brown, I already told you guys, I'm keeping all these Superstay Matte Inks just because they're so gorgeous. This Dose of Colors one is very gorgeous. This one's in the shade Cork. So is this Fancy, even though it's like getting a little liquidy, kind of separating. I'm gonna keep it for a little while longer, but if I see that again, I might have to get rid of that one. And then I have this Sephora. This is the Lip Stories in Fireside, and I love, 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 love these lipsticks right here. They're super affordable. They're like $8, and they're such good quality, and they're Sephora brand. And you know what, as I think some more, I have these four browns here. I really don't need this Fenty one. I saw it separating, that just kind of grossed me out. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Next category we have here are like the pinky, the pinky nudes, because I have another category of brownie nudes, but these are like pinky nudes here. So um, yeah, let's see. We have this NARS, see, I don't like these lipsticks that don't have any indication of the color on the outside because I'm just never gonna use them. Like this one, I've never even touched, but I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna let it go because I just don't know what it is on the outside. Um, keeping this, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. It's in the shade Seduction. I actually got this from, um, from a gift set at Target, so I'm gonna keep that. This Physicians Formula Lip Color, this is another one that came in that same gift set. This is the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. I'm gonna let this one go. That one still had the seal on it, so there's no need for me to keep it. Um, this is the Ofra. This is more like a brownie nude, so I don't know why this is in here. This is in the shade Verona. I actually really like this color, so I'm going to keep it. Um, what is this, MAC Cream Cup. I do really like this color, so I'm gonna keep that as well. What else do we have? Anastasia Beverly Hills in Trouble. I love this color with a brown um, lip liner, very pretty. And then I have Veronica, I also love this color. So we're keeping both of those. Let me see, sometimes these minis are really nice to keep in your purse. This one is the Bite Beauty little mini liquid lipstick. Sometimes these are like really, really good to put in your purse when you have a small purse and you're going out and you need to touch up your lip color. So I'm gonna keep, between the Bite and the Makeup Forever, I'm gonna keep the Bite because the Makeup Forever I need to use a lip liner with and which means I would need to put two things in my purse. Here's one from Hourglass. This is their, I don't even know exactly what it's called. I know I barely used it. It's called My One Desire, that's what it is. But this is just so cute. The color is pretty, but the packaging is even prettier. Like I can't get rid of that yet. I love this packaging. 
All right, what else do we have here? Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Nude Mood. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Gorgeous. We're keeping it. You're a keeper. What is this? Liquid Lipstick in Poet by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I don't really love this color. I don't really love this shade as I look at it. So I'm going to let it go. I'm also going to let go of this Perfusion Matte Lip Cream. I was like obsessed with this at one point in time, but I just don't use it anymore. So I'm going to let that go as well. This YSL lip, lip color. Y'all, I feel like I'm only keeping it because it's YSL. Like that's the only reason. It's a super soft lip color, but it doesn't stay on your lips. And I need a lip liner. These just aren't the best lipsticks, especially not for almost $40. So I'm going to let this go. And then for these two liquid lipsticks, I'm keeping this Tarte one. This is in the shade Rave. It's a very pretty color, but I'm going to get rid of this um, Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. I think we did really good there. Those are all the keepers from that whole category. I think we did really, really good. So this is where the party really gets started. This is where it gets super hard. And y'all probably looking at, especially this one, like, girl, all them colors look alike. You know what? They all look very similar, but I can see subtle differences. And then I see subtleties in the formula that I like. So this is where it's, I, I don't know how we're going to do here. I'm telling you that now. So I have 32 of these brownie nudes. I have 16 of these deeper mauves, 13 of these like, I don't know, these like ginger shades. And then I have 20 of these burgundies, which you guys can barely see, these burgundies right here. So we're gonna start with the hardest thing first. We're gonna start with the brownie nudes. Okay, let's get started. Um, I know for a fact I'm not getting rid of my Huda Beauty. Love this formula. I love this lipstick, the color. It's like super velvety and matte. I love the packaging. Everything about that liquid lipstick, that stays with me. Um, these Bobbi Brown Crush Liquid Lipsticks, these are really nice as well. So I'm keeping that one. I'm also keeping the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is this is in the shade Gotta Light, and it's very, very gorgeous. My Patrick Ta is also staying with me, so there's no need to even talk about this. Like, I just got this. It's staying with me. One that I know I can get rid of, this is just a super light skin liquid lipstick. I don't even know why I got this one, but this one's in the shade Stripped. It's way too light skin for me, so I'm going to let that go. Just as I'm looking through these, I'm trying to see what I'm keeping. These are the Kim K um, lipsticks. I have not tried these yet, so I'm keeping those because I need to try them out. Okay, come on, come on. We can get rid of something. Um, this is a MAC liquid or matte regular lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I don't use this very often, and I'm not really a big fan of the Velvet Teddy shade, so I can let that go. Let's see, oh, look at this. This is a City Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick. Oh, no, LA Colors. Oh, I thought it was still closed. No, it's open. Um, it looks cute. I need to keep some drugstore options. So I need to make sure I'm keeping drugstore options. So I'm gonna put this one to the side just in case I don't have any more drugstore options. Um, here's another Bobbi Brown, a definite keeper. Oh, I used to love this shade. This is the Velvet Hot Lacquer in Unreal. Such a pretty lip shade, so I'm keeping that, and I can get rid of this LA Colors. I'm also gonna get rid of this ColourPop and I Love Sarah E Ultra Matte Lip Color. I think I can let that go. Here's another really light skin liquid lipstick from Anastasia. This one's in the shade Pure Hollywood. I don't know why I even got this. I think I got it from like TJ Maxx or something and I was thirsty. I don't know what's going on, but I'm letting those two go. Here's another Fenty that's separating again. I've had it for a while, so I think it's time to part ways. This one's in the shade Unbutton. If I want it back, I can always rebuy it, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm also gonna let go of this Too Faced Melted Matte. This one's in the shade Sugar Cookie. Just another really light skin liquid lipstick that I don't need. What is this, MAC? Oh, this is the Viva Glam Gaga 2. This was, oh. This was um, limited edition, but it is like years and years old, so I'm gonna let it go. What is this? Marc Jacobs. This is a Marc Jacobs lip, or regular lipstick in the shade Sugar High. How do you open this? 
it's cute I've never used it but it's cute I just I don't know the color from the outside so I'm not gonna use it I'm not even gonna kid myself so we can let that go um, oh we're doing pretty well here you guys Anastasia liquid lipstick this one's in the shade Hudson I'm keeping this um, oh I used to love this lip paint but it's super <sighs> the tardiest lip paint this one's in the shade namaste I'm gonna keep that this is a Sephora brand liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade number 40. I'm gonna let that little baby go. What else? Um, Kat Von D bow and arrow I love, so let's keep it. This L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the, from the Le Chocolate Collection in the shade Bittersweet. Let's keep that as well. This is a ColourPop lipstick in the shade Quickie. I think this was from the, like, the Makeup Shayla Collection, but I'm not a fan of this color, so I'm gonna let it go. I am going to keep this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Hot Bluttered Rum. I love the formula of these Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks, if I've never said it before. They're so good. Um, the Sephora Lip Stories. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. It's in the shade Hashtag Cream. Yeah, we're keeping that. I'm going to keep this NYX Powder Puff Lippy. I just love the formula of these as well, so I'm going to keep that. This is the NARS liquid lipstick. I haven't used this in so long. It's in the shade Slow Ride. Um, I haven't used that in so long and I don't see myself using it, so I'm gonna let it go. What is this? Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl. I just got this in a boxy charm, so I'll keep it for a little bit. NYX Lip Lingeries. I used to love these. This one's in the shade Beauty Mark. I'm gonna keep that one. Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton. I'm definitely keeping that one. And then the last two, we have Anastasia in Starfish. I'm going to keep this. And then the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Slow Down. Um, this was from the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collection. I'm going to just get rid of this one. Let's move into the burgundy shades. Uh oh. 20 of those. Let's move into this one and see what we end up with. So, um, what's this? Oh, Havana Nights by Ofra. This is such a good shade. I'm keeping that off the bat. Bobbi Brown. I told you guys I was not getting rid of any of these crushed liquid lips. So we're keeping that. I have this MAC shade in Dark Side. This is so old. But I love this color. But I feel like I have a million of these colors in here. Let me see. I have Dark Side. I have, I know Diva's in here somewhere. This is Fresh Moroccan. That's like a, oh, that's brand new, but that's like a sparkly one. I don't know if I'd like that. And then this is Diva. Like, do I really need all of those? What's this? This is Max Sin. All right, Sin and Dark Side look super close. And I know Sin is more new, so I'm going to keep Sin. We can, we can keep Sin. I'll get rid of Dark Side. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'll get rid of Diva as well. And then this one, I just don't think I'm going to use this. I think it came in a set, and I don't think I'm going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. That's a brand new one right there. What's this? An Hourglass Lipstick. That's a pretty red, right? This one's in the shade At Night. I just don't like how I can't see it from the outside. Gosh. I think this is one of those refills though from that um, from that other long one, the purple one that I showed you, but I just can't see it from the outside. I'm never going to remember that I have this, so I'm going to let it go. I'm doing better than I thought, y'all. Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. I think this came in a set because I would have never purchased the ink crayon, so I'm going to let that go. I'm definitely keeping this dose of colors in Black Rose. This is such a really pretty deep, deep, deep shade. Um, oh, definitely keeping this Fenty in Underdog. This is a newer liquid lipstick that she came out with and it's so pretty. I'm keeping both of these Huda Beauties. One of them is in Vixen and the other is in Famous. So I'm keeping both of those. Here's another one of those NARS liquid lipsticks that I just have not touched. This one's in the shade Rock With You. I actually really did love this shade. I don't know why I haven't touched it. Um, I'll keep this one. I'll go ahead and keep this one. 
what else dose of colors this one's in the shade lava cake another one that I can't see from the outside but I love the packaging so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to use this and keep that we have this is a perfusion matte lip cream in the shade matte fantasy I'm going to keep this because it's extra pretty um, the NYX line and load Fe feeling fine is what it's called I don't really love this shade so let's get rid of it this is a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Fab Five. I'm keeping that. I am gonna keep this line and load. This one's in the shade Foolish Ways. I am gonna keep that one because that's pretty. The Sephora Lip Stories in, what is this called? Uh, Malt Shake, we're keeping that. And then I can get rid of this Stila one. This one's in the shade Rico. I've had this for such a long time. I'll just let it go. <sighs> okay, we're getting there y'all. We are getting there. So um, let's just jump right in. This Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick, I love this formula, so I'm keeping it. I'm also gonna keep this little lip bar liquid lipstick. I actually um, just got this in, another, in a lip set from Target, so I haven't used it yet, um, but I'm definitely going to use it. So let's keep that. We're gonna keep this NYX Powder Puff Lippy because I love, love, love those. This is a brand new, is this new? No, that wasn't new. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade, what is this? 362 Plum Bum. I'm keeping that. Oh, I do remember using that now that I hear the name. Um, what are these MAC ones? This is Max Lipstick in Whirl. I'm going to keep that because I do like that color. I'm also keeping my Hoodas. I told you guys I was not getting rid of these. This is an hourglass. Oh, I love this. This hourglass. I don't know if it's a liquid lipstick or a gloss. I can't remember, but it's really pretty. It's in the shade Unreal, and so we're keeping that. Um, what else do we have? Two Kat Von D's here. This one's in the shade Haze, and this one's in the shade Madrid. Let's keep both of those for now. A Kim K lipstick that I have not gotten to try yet. I am keeping... This is a Wet n Wilds lipstick, Urban Night. I got rid of most of these, so I'm going to keep... This one, okay, this is a shade I can get rid of. This Kat Von D shade in Ruthless, it's just not that cute, so I'm gonna let that go. Makeup Forever, if I can't see you on the outside, I'm not gonna use you, so let's let you go. Um, a NARS, same thing, if I can't see it on the outside, I'm not gonna use it, and I never have, so let's let that go as well. This Huda Beauty liquid lipstick, I can let go. I'm not a fan of the color. This one's in the shade Throw, Throw Wife. So let's let that go. Um, this Bite Beauty, it's like a lip crayon thing, I think. Um, yeah, not gonna use it, so I'll let it go. Hollywood Lips, oh, this is by Charlotte Tilbury. Let's keep that. And then this Fenty, this is another one that, um, I'm just going to get rid of it. I never use it. So we are down to our last two categories, okay? So this is like, again, my cinnamon ginger shades. Um, some shades that I just know I'm not getting rid of. This one is in Bittersweet by Anastasia. I love that shade. I've talked about it a million times, so I'm keeping it. I'm also keeping these two by Too Faced. One is Pumpkin Spice, and then this one's Gingerbread Girl. So I'm keeping both of those. Um, this Kylie liquid lipstick is actually really pretty as well. This one's called Love Bite. Haven't used it in a while, but I'm just going to keep it for now. Um, this is a NYX lip lingerie. I don't love the color, to be honest. This one's in the shade Exotic, so I'm going to get rid of it. This Dose of Color, another lipstick that I just can't see on the outside. It's really pretty, but I don't use it just because of the packaging. So this one I will be getting rid of. Oh, this one is really cute. This one is the Fenty lip color in Freckle Fiesta. And it's such a pretty like brick red cinnamon shade. So we're keeping that. This one's Anastasia in the shade Dazed. I'm not a fan of the color, so I can get rid of that. Cover Girl in the shade Sultry Sienna. This is another one that I got in a gift set that I'm just never gonna use. It's not even opened, so I can let that go. I have another Charlotte Tilbury here. This one's in the shade Too Bad, I'm Bad. Too Bad, I'm Bad. So I'm gonna keep this one for a little bit. I forgot I had this, actually. I'm gonna have to use this. 
MAC. This is the Gabriel Zamora, oops, Gabriel Zamora shade. Does he still make YouTube videos? This is a really pretty color, so I'm keeping that. I am, hmm, no, I'm gonna get rid of this. The Superstay Ink Crayon. I just don't use these crayons, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then Huda Beauty. This is a liquid matte lipstick in Trendsetter. Never use this, so I'm gonna let it go. So this is the very last category, and it is the largest. I have 42 lip glosses. Not sure how I ended up with 42 lip glosses because considering just a couple years ago, I wasn't even a lip gloss girl, but somehow there's 42 in here. Actually, there's 41. My other one is upstairs and it's the Patrick Ta, um, what is it, the Lip Shine, and inf she's an influencer. I've been talking to you guys about that one. I love that one. That one's upstairs in my purse and I'm not going to get it. So just know I got it. So speaking of Patrick Ta, I do have another one of the lip colors. This is in She's Expensive, and I really love this um, lip gloss as well. So of course we're keeping it. I have my LipSense lip glosses. If you guys remember, I used to be a LipSense distributor. I'm not anymore, but I do still love their products. So this is the LipSense, um, this is the matte gloss right here that I really like. These are the moisturizing, the glossy glosses, I guess, and I love these, so I'm keeping both of those. And then I also have the rose gloss, which this one, this one I never used, actually, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rose gloss. I can also get rid of this Iconic London. This is a gloss I think I received in a boxy or an ipsy bag, so I'm letting that go. Oh, I love this. This is the um, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. This is one of my favorites. So, keeping. And it's almost gone. Along with this Buxom, this is the Full On Lip Shine or the Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. You guys know this is one of my faves. This one's another one that's almost gone. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep it so I can get rid of it. I have a Kim K lip gloss, which I haven't used yet, in the shade Rose Gold. So, I'm keeping that. This is just a NYX like clear gloss, keeping that. ELF Lip Plumping Gloss, I'm not gonna use this, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm also gonna part ways with this Fenty. This is the Gloss Bomb in Confetti. It's just like a clear with some glitter in it. I'm never gonna use this, so I'm gonna let it go. Oh, this has been one of my favorites lately. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. I got it from Sephora and oh my God, this has been one of my favorite lip products lately. I'm definitely keeping that. I'm also keeping these two, two or I'm sorry, Fenty Gloss Bombs. This is the original shade and this one is in Fussy, so I'm keeping both of those. What is this? Oh, this is that um, ColourPop and Shayla Gloss in Neat Freak. I actually really love this, but if you look, this Kim K one in Rose Gold looks almost identical, and this Patrick Ta one, it's a little lighter, but it looks really close, so I think I can let this go now. I'm also going to let go of this. This is by the brand, Alette. what is this? I don't even know. It's just a, a lip gloss that I know I'm not going to use because it's like that super metallic-y. Um, this is another one that came in that gift set. I'm going to keep this. This one is called Sundressed by the brand Starling. I'm going to keep that. That's a pretty color for a gloss. Oh look, I have another one of the e.l.f. plumping glosses. I got rid of one, but this one looks like it's already open so I can keep that. This is the Estee Edit Flash Photo Gloss. I actually really do like this gloss, so we can keep that. I have the Milani Keep It Full um, Lip Shine. I'm gonna keep that as well. This is a pretty lip gloss. Gives your lips a little color, a little tint. I have another full-size fussy lip gloss by Fenty that we are keeping. This is a NYX Butter Gloss. Again, it came in a lip set. It's not even open, the seal's not broken, so I'm getting rid of that. Ooh, this Marc Jacobs lip gloss, I'm keeping this. And I should have another one in here. Yeah, that one, I'm keeping that too. Let's see, this is the Huda Beauty. This is like one of those metallic-y white glosses, which I probably will never use. So I can go ahead and let it go. 
Um, this is my new Fenty Gloss and Diamond Milk. I got rid of the other one. Let's just keep this one just to keep it. Um, another Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. I'm keeping, I have another Fussy by Fenty. It's a, a mini. I don't know if I need the mini, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. I also have these by Fenty. They came in the little lip set. I am keeping all three of these. Not sure when I will be using the orange or the pink, but I'm gonna keep them. Oh, this one's called Lemonade by Dominique Cosmetics. I've used this once and actually really do like it, so I'm going to keep it. Here's another one by Buxom that I'm keeping. This Kylie Gloss in the shade Like. I actually really love this gloss. I've talked about it several times, so we're keeping that. This one is the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray Gloss. I'm not keeping this because I never use it. Elf and Alyssa Ashley I do really love, so I'm keeping that. Um, Soap and Glory Pillow Plump. I never really use it, so let's let it go. This is a MAC Lip Glass. I actually just got this in the shade Nymphite, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is like one of those lip plumpers. And then I'm gonna keep the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. Okay, y'all, so here are all of the lip products that we're getting rid of. There's a lot here, okay? We have ColourPop, NYX, Stila, Anastasia Beverly Hills, some more NYX, Kat Von D, Makeup Forever, Fenty. There's several Fenty's in here. There's a lot of MAC in here, some NARS, Hourglass, ColourPop, um, Lip Sense. What is this? Bite Beauty. Maybelline, more NARS, more NARS, more MAC and Fenty, a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills in here, some ELF, some Iconic London, Huda Beauty, this is another ColourPop, this is BH Cosmetics, some more Huda, some more NYX, some more Anastasia, Too Faced, this is a Maybelline, a Fenty, a Physician's Formula, MAC, NYX, YSL, Ofra, um, Soap and Glory, LA Colors, more ColourPop, Tristique, Anastasia, Marc Jacobs. This is a Cover Girl. Um, Kat Von D. What are these? What were these? Galactic. Um, Makeup Forever. Pat McGrath is in here. So, so many different types of lip colors. Dose of colors. So many different ones are in here, but I think we did pretty good. So we started this journey with 199 lip colors. I have 69 shades sitting in front of me. So we have left 130 lip colors, 130 even. Still too many. <laughs> I was hoping we could get down by half. It's still too many. But usually after my declutters, I do kind of go back through as I'm putting everything away. And usually I'll get rid of a few more. Probably not another 30 to make my goal. But any that I can get rid of, I think is a win. So this is where we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye.